Oh no. I don't want people to come. We're bogged. The sand is so hot. Speaking to a face with hair that hasn't been washed in over a week. We are leaving the most beautiful place we have ever been to and we were here on two of the best weather days. It's now started to crack up a little bit like it's blowing on shore this morning but the tide's still a bit high for us to leave so we're gonna head down the south of the West Beach we're gonna hopefully find a camp down the bottom. I think it's called Kugali or something like that. And we're gonna spend the next maybe two nights there and then we're gonna head across to Lake Mackenzie and then we'll head Eli Creek and down the, um, the East Coast. So that's the plan. Oh yeah, the tide is high. Look at that. And that's not fresh water. That is salt water. So we'll be here for a little while. I reckon. <laughs> that's okay, because I'm reading Gone Girl on my Kindle. I'm like very much behind the, the eight ball on that book, but I'm just happy to be here. I don't think we can cross here. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is salt. Yes, it's very salty. Oh, and it's so soft. When I'm walking, there's like these little air bubbles that are just like rising. It's, like, it's definitely like sinking sand. So, we might just set up up there and float around in our floaties or something. It appears others have had worse mornings than us. <laughs> Poor guy. He didn't deserve the fate that he's been given. Didn't he? I don't know. He's he know is a he pest. He's a pest. We didn't know what he what he did over here. Check out how much of a difference two hours makes. amazing camp and we forgot to tell you <laughs> that we even drove here <laughs> so we drove down the beach after the um, tide went out obviously we had a decision to make we could either head east and then go down the coast head to Eli Creek go to Lake Mackenzie um, go to Lake Wobby or we thought we could spend another couple of days on the uh, west side and just head further south so we decided we're gonna stay a little bit longer and we've heard, headed as far as we can south on that west side and we've just found the most amazing camp. It's called Coongul, Coongul, C-O-O-N-G-U-L um, Creek. And so at the moment the tide is low, but this is our campsite. The creek is right there, camp's right here, the beach is right there. Does it get any better? No, it does not. Morning homies. There's a dingo that is, it's, 
Oh my god, I'm Oh god. I think it's coming for us. I don't know what to do. Get out of here! Oh. He's coming around the back. Get the thing and hit it with the shovel. I'm not hitting it. No, but you've got to like. Why does it? It wants to play. No, it doesn't. It wants to eat you. I can see you under there. Jacob, it's not a game. You need to hit it. I can't. Like... No, you're not hit it, but like pretend. You mean I need to get the stick? Get the get the shovel. Well, you're in my way if I need to run in. Oh god, it's going for Cam in Georgia. Get out of here! Get out! Oh, he just wants to play. I think that he's happy. He looks like a happy dog. Well, I don't know what to do now. Get out of here! Get it! Get out of here! Get! That scared him. He's off now. It is a puppy. That's the first one we've seen over here. Yeah. Over this side. But we were talking to someone and he reckons that a few years ago, you'd open up your door and they'd just run. Like they were so scared. And now they come right up and they're, not, they're just not scared of people because keep, people keep beating them. And so then they come up and they get so confident and then they bite you and then you die. A horrible death. I feel so bad like shooing a dog away because I love dogs so much. But it's that's not just, a dog. It's I know. not a dog. But it looks like one. But it's not a dog. So, as you can see, boats in the background, surfboard here, only means one thing. We're going scurfing. And it is mint out here. Cam and George are here as well. They're, they're blowing up their inflatable paddle board. So we're going to tow that round, which is going to be sick. Okay. <laughs> Just this speed, babe. I think she's saying go faster, but I don't know. Jay and Lil have decided that they're going to go together. Oh. <laughs> I need, hang on, I've got to come around, I've got to give you the GoPro. Ah. Oh my god. It's actually good. And then the other thing that was happening was that I, because there was so much 
crazy. You were pulling. I was trying oh. to hold on to the handle. Uh. But it was like my arm was going to come out oh of the socket. <laughs> today and I feel like we've hardly updated you but we just went on the best mission out on the boat to like this sandbank and we just dove in and we just swam around and we just had the best time and I just can't believe today like I just can't believe that this morning we were in here and then this afternoon we've been over in the ocean just having the best time. One, go! go. <laughs> it's just been a dream today. Like this will be one of those days that you remember for many, many years to come. Like it's been so good. I'm so grateful to be able to share this with Jacob and to be able to share this with Cam and Georgia. Like one of the best memories of the trip. I'd say Fraser Island has got to be up there with Cape York, equally our two favorite things we've done on this life so far. Like, just blows my mind how beautiful Australia is and how much we get to experience like these incredible places. Go 22, uh, 23. Same. Okay, all right, so welcome back. <laughs> Hello, we're leaving the west side today. And we can't cross this river up here. And it looks like there's like a bit of a soft track here. I think we're having a bit of problem. Bloody hell. No problems. Just had to straighten her up a little and we're on. Anyway, we'll see what this backtrack's like. It might not even be anything because we haven't, we don't know anything about this. So we could potentially hit that, uh, but I don't think we'd make it up there with the van. Yeah, we would. game of Russian roulette here because the last time we came through here the tide was like super low like it must have been right out and this time we're taking a track that we have no idea where it's gonna take us is that fresh I think so. do you want me to go and taste it yeah go give it go give it a lick oh it looks lovely We're good to go. I'm 
making a bit of a situation of this. Jeez, it's soft. That was stressful because our tires are low. We were in low, four wheel drive low already. Like we don't have many more places to go to get out. That's the closest we've got to getting bogged on Fraser. Like seriously bad. The sand is so hot. He's gonna have to go back. God, it's so soft. He's really gonna have to give it to it here. This is like... So, so soft. It's crazy to me how much of a difference the temperature makes, like, Today's our hottest day on Fraser so far and we've been here like a week and a half. It's going to be 29 and you can already tell that it makes such a difference on the sand and on our tyres. Like, I don't know if you know, but when, well you probably do, but when it gets hot the tyres inflate more, don't they? Or they, not, they don't self inflate, but they just... Well, they do, uh, they raise in pressure. They, yeah, their pressure goes up. Sketchy. That was close, wasn't it? I don't want to go, we're already at 10 in the front, 15 in the rear. Yeah. I don't want to go much lower than that. No, me neither. I don't know if that's gone up or down. So we have a tire pressure, pressure situation. We've got our tire pressure monitoring system, thank God. No, I think it might be all right. Oh, Jacob thinks it's gone down, which is funny in this temperature. Usually the they've just been going up. Well, I don't know, because it, it doesn't, it says that there's obviously an alarm, but two tires are alarming and saying that they're going up. And one tire is alarm, but I feel like it shouldn't be on. Can you see that there? So it's just, yeah, like those two are alarming but that one there was alarming, that one at 13. But I couldn't, I thought it was at like 20 before. Oh. But I don't know, but I Well, like, just get out and check it. I think it is because it alarmed when it went low. It must have gone low. Because it alarmed at 12. I will, I'll get out and check it. I hope not, because that's a good tire. Oh no, it's not, it's a bad tire. I know it does look very flat, doesn't it? I can't hear because that grey water's going out. Yeah, we've got a puncture. Damn. You know, this seems quite small though. Oh, look at that. Look how worn that tire is. I just thought I'd get over, like through Fraser with it. I'm just going to keep running it so it goes flat. We've got a puncture. Oh no. Bummer. Oh. It's not good, is it? Oh. Yeah, well, I'll just monitor it. I might put a bit more air in it in a second. This is only quite small. How? So is it just... Yeah, it's really small. But I'll just keep driving with it for a bit, I guess. And it's the bad one? It's the bad one. That's lucky. Yeah. The one that was that was wearing really bad. So yeah. We need new tyres, guys. I know. No, we don't. They're not too bad. Those, the car, we probably need two. We need two. Yeah. We need two new tyres. Oh. 
fine. It's dropping quick. But we don't really want to. I don't want to change it out here. Change it in the sun, in the sand. But it's so hot, you guys. It's. And in the sand, it just feels even hotter, doesn't it? But thank God for our tire pressure monitoring system. For catching it. Nine. I'm just going to pump it up to like 20. Alrighty, so I'm just chucking a bit of air in it. The point where it's actually leaking is here. So, I've got two spares here. So I might have to chuck one on. Bummer, I just want to get into like this forest bit in here so it's a bit shadier and I can find somewhere nice and cool in there to do it. It's actually stopped now, but... Hear that? Thank God for these bad boys. We're over the hump, doll. Past halfway. Out. We're past halfway. It was 12 k's to the western, 9 k's to the eastern. So that's a good sign. It's a great sign. Literally a sign. So we're just pulling into a big pull off um, because we need to change this tire. God, it's very hard to see out of the car at the moment Jesus. because it's just covered in salt. So the, I don't know if you can see. I it. hope that was the wheel. Yeah, it was. And not something else. I hope it was too. Tire changing time. When you are small, but you are mighty. <laughs> That's been good. That's been very good. Put this in a safe spot in the pocket. Alright, you got this far. Quick check of the uh, bearing. Noisy brakes, but it seems alright. I've wiggled it a few times. Now just to whack this tyre on and we'll be away. Couldn't think of a more beautiful spot to change a tyre though. I'm all revved up from Bathurst the other day. Meanwhile, I'm eating my salad. People are gonna say she never helps. But I did just make the salad. So that's pretty good help if you ask me. Don't you reckon? Yeah, you did a really good job. This is this broken one. They call it the dicky leg. Yeah, it's got a dicky leg this round. Look at this Wally. It's like she doesn't know that we've got tire dividers. Watch how easy these are to use. Here you go. That's how you do it. That's how it's done, people. Not bad. Not bad. these people are doing dragging bags or whatever around can you please comment below because we have no idea they're like they've got like these scoopy bags and they're like digging in the sand or something and then they're like rinsing the bag off 
Is it like pippies? Is it little pippies? Pippies. Craziest thing ever. We literally just drove past four wheel drive 24 seven. Yeah. I Sean wish Allen's I got son. it on film. I know. But I did not. <laughs> Jacob and I had our hands going like. <laughs> they would have been like, who are these fruit loops? I know, who are these idiots? Oh, I wish we got to see, like, ha I like know. see them. Yeah, exactly right. I wonder where they're off to. I don't know, they always go to Fraser and do stuff. Yeah. So crazy, isn't that weird? Yeah. I feel like over on the east coast, there's just so many more. There's a lot of influence. Influence of people around. Yeah. Like you just run into more, I would say. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah, the way the flashes was slow, the thought, but I'll do the job. Feels like I'm watching them on TV. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're just on the radio. <laughs> like you can just hear him saying those things on the TV, can't you? I wonder how, that must be so hard for them to come here. Like even, like we in like the smallest like channel ever and we even get stopped by people. To be like, hey, how you going? Can you imagine having, they have like a hundred times more subscribers than us. More? Yeah, I think it's something ludicrous, man. It's like 50 per person or something. They have a, a hundred. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's quite a lot of people. That's, um, that's, 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 that's a little arrow like this. Um, I think there is a rule as well of how far you can take them from where you've collected them. Oh, yeah, so I think you're not technically supposed to take them above the high sideline. Did they just answer our question? Yeah. How funny is that? They just answered our question about what, who, what, what they're filling, filling up in those bags. It's we funny. did it first, and they copied. They copied. <laughs> they heard we were over here. Yeah, and then they came over. But they just didn't recognise us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair Good morning, we're off bright and early. It's quarter past six <laughs> and we're heading to Lake Mackenzie because apparently it gets super duper busy. Did you just know whether we got left or right? It's on the map. Sorry. So we wanted to get there before all of the crowds get to Lake Mackenzie because apparently it gets really busy. Hopefully it's not gonna be too cold because literally the sun's just only risen. Like, oh, probably 45 minutes. But a few people, it's funny because like a lot of people generally are up and about, aren't they? Like, yeah, we've seen cars I've already, drive past yeah, and exactly. stuff before 6 o'clock. Yep, exactly. Anyway, Lake Mackenzie, I can't wait. Lake Mackenzie, and it looks quite big. Yeah. A lot bigger than I imagined. Apparently it's like the bluest of blue waters you'll ever see in your life. Like bluer than blue. blue. We're the only people here. Well, unless people have walked in. How exciting. Do you guys want to see something really cool? Ready? This is this is probably the coolest thing I know how to do. Okay, you look great. Thank you. Do you want to see something that looks even greater? Ready? Is that good? Is that pretty? Take a photo Beautiful. Just kidding, ready? She's out of control. So, I think we're gonna do the bakery. Tell you what, I'm excited. 
It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. World famous. Is it just world famous world for the famous. Sand Island? It's 10.22. It's officially two hours since we left Lake Mackenzie. And my predictions have come true. It is flipping busy here at Eli Creek. Like, are you joking me right now? Even a volleyball net set up. Look at these. And there's, there's even big vans here. Caravans here at the beach. It's actually busier than any other day we've seen it. Yeah, by far. Oh my God, look at this car. Someone's bought their RAV4 and they're towing it. They're with towing it. a trailer. Towing with it. Let's have a little squizzy, hey? Time to get in. Look at me, look how sun safe I am. And look at you. I guess you've got a hat and a sun, a sun is. And I've literally had to tell in sunscreen. Not as safe as me. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Turn around this way this way oh. I'm already in the bushes. That's it. <laughs> There's the ferry, right out there. Bit of a line up here. I'm very sad, to be honest. If it wasn't that your car was just exposed to salt all day, every day, and it had a layer of salt, like, like that's just salt. Ooh, salty. If it wasn't for that, I'd stay here forever. It's such an amazing place. But I just really want to wash my car. I can just imagine in six months time trying to undo bolts and they just snap. I feel like I want to keep this car now. Originally when I bought the car, I thought to myself, look, I'll just keep it for the first, you know, it's got five years warranty and like 120,000 K or whatever. And I thought, you know, I'll keep it for either the five years or the 120 K, maybe get rid of it at four years so I can sell it with a year's warranty and then just move on to the next thing. I've become very attached to it. It's just been so good. It's been amazing. So I think that I'm gonna try and look after it from now on. So I've just got onto the ferry and I feel like our caravan- Is off the back. Yeah. I mean, I'm not questioning them. They know what they're doing. Yeah. But- It's hanging off. It's literally off the back. Like, don't they have to shut that back door? I don't know. Are they just going to leave it hanging off the back? We're back on the mainland. And I tell you what, it actually feels really good. It does, it, it does. It. I actually feel like a bit of a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Not Did, that I, I loved it over there. Loved it. But, straight to the car wash. Yes. Oh, it gets bumpy down there. People this is where everyone gets bold.
nebog So Jacob said that there's a YouTube channel called Bog I got bogged in skip, I think. I got bog bogged in skip and that is in skip right there and that bloke just got bogged. So everyone gets bogged there. Not us. Everyone. Yeah no not us. How unfortunate. Because our tires are like No, we actually had the but uh, one of the boys, there's a few pages that do it, we actually had one of them um message us. Sorry, comment on one of our videos. Oh really? Yeah, and say that. Yeah. What did he say? That he liked the video or something. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, and I said, hopefully we can be on one of yours. <laughs> but he wasn't there. He wasn't there. Damn. All right, we need to pump up these tires stat. You reckon? Yeah, we'll put a little bit of air in them with our broken egg or something, yeah. Perfect. It's getting more fired up. Right. 